The Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. Language. Go from less invasive to more invasive on your questions. And actively listen to the answers, not just thinking of what to say next. See number three. Oh, desensitization. We have a tendency to get used to things, so don't notice the incremental increase, decrease. Ask each question using the right tonality. Each question will have its best tonality. Use the correct body language as the prospect responds and actively listen to the response to your questions. Nod your head while they are talking, yep, and I get it. Oh, narrow your eyes and compress lips while nodding slowly when your prospect is disclosing an issue that is very important to them. Do be even more intensely if the topic deals with one of the prospect's primary pain points. Ooh, uh, oh, lean forward when you ask an emotionally charged question and stay forward. Lean backward when you ask a question that is grounded in logic. Scratch your chin. Always follow a logical path. If it does not follow the logical path, you will lose rapport as a professional. See number three, keep yourself congruent. Make mental notes, don't resolve their pain, just make notes based on their pain. If anything, amplify the pain. Oh, taking the pain away moves them from being a buyer in heat to a buyer in power. Always end in a powerful transition. This eliminates the looky loos and mistakes, or any BIH or BIP that aren't right for your product. Oh, if your product doesn't help them, you have a moral obligation to not sell to them. I don't want to sell you something that you won't be thrilled with. Stay on the straight line. Don't go spiraling off to Pluto and don't let the client bring you there. Genuine rapport is based on one, you care about their interests more than yours, and two, you are just like them. But don't play the pretend game to achieve, two. People are better than ever at catching bullshit. Oh, stay on path because an expert values his own time and doesn't want to waste it. Oh, rapport goes up and down throughout the sale based on one, how the prospect thinks and feels about the last point you made. And two, his belief as to whether or not they believe you are on the same page as him about it. You can't close a sale when you are out of rapport. If you are out of rapport, stop and use your active listening skills to get back into rapport with tonality. I cur I really want to know and I feel your pain in body language. Then lead him back to the straight line. Oh, you want to be working on building rapport 100% of the time. The art and science of sales presentations. Charisma is the ability to quickly make rapport with a lot of people. Ability to make people feel like you care about them, understand them, and feel their pain. All top producers have massive charisma. Three core components of charisma. Effective use on tonality. You sound so good when you speak that everyone is hanging on your every word. The targeted use of body language. Applying all 10 body language principles with emphasis on active listening. Not saying stupid shit. People know what experts look like and sound like. And what they don't. Don't have to be an expert. Just have to sound like one. How? As scripts, most important benefits of scripts. The sale being able to drag on for as long as necessary without saying stupid shit. You can prepare your tonalities in advance. You can now be sure that no matter how nervous you are, the best possible words come out every single time. Because of number three, you can focus on their reaction and maintain good rapport. Allows you to build the most airtight logical point from the three tens. Allows company to systemize the sales force and calibrate for performance. Reduces regulatory problems from making false claims. Strategic preparation. Come up with every possible thing that could come up in a sale and write a script for it. The eight key features of a straight line script cannot be front loaded. If you put all of your benefits up front, you don't have anything left to hit them back after they give you an objection. Frame don't front load. Have to have stopping off points to regain thoughts. Focus on the benefits, not the features. What does it mean to them do for them personally? How does it make their life easier? The script must have stopping off points. If you have too many power statements, they blend together. After one or two power statements, you want to give them a simple yes, no question. You with me so far, or you follow me so far, or make sense. Serve as rapport checks. Don't move forward without rapport. Oh, if not in rapport, loop back and give more info. Then check again. Write in the spoken word, not grammatically correct English, as if written for a friend, and connecting with them emotionally while still sounding like an expert. No technical terms or buzz phrases. Commitment to sounding natural. Must flow perfectly. Generally at least four or five versions. Look for awkward transitions. Be honest, ethical, and accurate. Be the truth well told and sexy as all hell. Remember the overarching equation of energy in, benefits out. The customer will compare the total amount of energy required to do this versus the total amount of benefits they get. It's in their unconscious mind. At the end of the day, is it really worth it? Oh, make it as easy as possible. Or at least make it as clear as possible that you are going to do everything that you can to make it easy. If a prospect acts about the price late in the presentation, it's a good sign. But if you say the price without giving some benefits out with it, all they hear is the energy in. 
the cash outlay is only XXX, and what you get for that is AA, BBB, CCC, and all you have to do is there will likely be a series of five minus eight scripts that get you all the way from open to close. First section ends with asking for the order the one stone time, then looping and rebuttals. It will depend on how many times you plan on talking to prospect before asking for the order the first time or how many days between calls because you have to figure out how much effort you need to make on each call to refresh their memory. While waiting to close deal, make sure all communication comes from a position of strength. Generally, anything more than a three call system isn't going to be that good. Every word said by, said by the salesperson should be specifically designed to increase the certainty of the borrower on the scale of the three tenths. Always pitch, product first, you second, the company third, and make the airtight logical case first. Then an airtight emotional case second, and you do this with language patterns that contain bite-sized pieces of information to increase certainty. In the first half of the sale, the language patterns are serve as anchors for each portion of the syntax, explaining yourself, your company, and the reason for your call, while using tonality and body language to establish yourself as an expert to move them down the straight line toward close.